Okay, here we go. You too. On the car video. Picked this one up about a week ago, and I just love this car. It's a 1987 Cadillac Brome de Elegance. Car's got 83,000 original miles. I have the Carfax to prove the mileage. Just a clean, not perfect, but a clean, nice, original car. Um, bought locally here. Was bought locally here new and uh, just well taken care of. Never abused, never changed in any way. It's this great metallic brown color. Um, kind of looks like root beer, so I've affectionately nicknamed this car the root beer float. Um, you know, the chrome and the bumpers and the grill all looks nice. Of course, the great Cadillac emblem on the hood. Uh, no pitting that I can see on any of the any of the chrome. It's a garage kept car. Um, you know, with 83,000 miles, it averages out to be what 3,000 a year. But let's check out the inside a little bit. We walked around the outside. You can see a couple of the bumper fillers need to be replaced. It does have the original wire hubcaps, which I love. Put some Uniroyal Royal Seal tires. Just looks right on the car. Um, let's look at the, the vinyl top. It's just beautiful. There's no splits, no cracks. Anywhere on the vinyl. <laughs> Sorry for all the traffic going by. Um, just a... A gorgeous car and in these cars they're they're a great value now with collector cars being so high you can get in something like this for under 10 grand and really have something special to cruise around this particular car has had the transmission fully rebuilt to 200 r4 uh, the receipt for that it's had the entire air conditioning system gone through uh, by the previous owner the AC is ice cold the heat is, is hot. Now let's take a look at the inside here. All right. So we get in here, you got full leather gut, pillow back seats. Let me look at the door panel here on the driver's side. Just gorgeous. See, uh, you got the Delegance there on the panel. Uh, factory shag carpeting. Still in there in great shape. Seats are in beautiful condition. We get in here. Oh, I'm going to look at the dash. I mean, there's no cracks. No fading. Uh, just love the wood on the, uh, on the dash here and on the glove compartment. It's the gorgeous, gorgeous car. I mean, all the instrumentation, everything is just clear as a bell. You can see there's the, the mileage, 83,043 miles. Cruise, they said the AC is, is ice cold. It's got the electronic climate control that's fully functional. Power, power mirrors, heated power mirrors, which in 87, so it's pretty rare. Um, in the glove compartment here we have the this is the key for taking off the, the factory wire hubcaps we got the you know uh the original owner's manual here for the caddy and we even have the original what we got here well, it's the warranty for the for the original owner. I probably shouldn't show that <laughs> that name there, but okay. Put that away. You got your trunk release in the glove compartment. Just love the carpeting. 
is the passenger door panel and the wood is beautiful the chrome I mean you open up the ashtray here and you got extra keys but you look here I mean the ashtray has never been used still shiny in there um, you know this was not a smoker's car um, has the famous uh, gold keys so I'm try to do this all at one hand come with the car still have those factory GM radio and uh, that you know that works just fine let's see here wait for it to come on one day oh, here you go up to 40 percent over okay. your current system. everything works be home service got a great horn I don't know if it's gonna come out in the video but uh, it's like almost sounds like a a train you know that was a factory horn I believe that was an optional horn gas gauge up top you see we turned the key on she's working all your lights work up here um, let's go around to the back right. you get to the back seat looking at the door panel again just gorgeous open up the ashtray very clean in there um, you get in here and uh, my grandfather had a Cadillac and my uncle Louie had a Cadillac when I was a kid and uh, more so my grandfather's car because sitting back here is very uh, nostalgic you have these reading lamps here up in the corner and, and they work um, here's the other door panel no tears just a beautiful car and back here he so comfortable um, I'd say the only thing bad about the interior is the the headliner sagging a bit which they all did which nice is, is this is just regular material you can probably uh, glue it yourself or take it to an interior shop and have them uh, glue it up there for you I mean other than that this interior is, is just absolutely beautiful okay as we come around here I'm gonna fire up starts right up no problem and time to look under the hood now these earlier cars in this they had a 4100 series motor that was really very problematic this car does not have that this car has the five liter and in this these years um, they use a 307 Oldsmobile motor this is a good good running reliable piece um, very clean under here and you can see that the car had been kept inside you see the AC compressor kicking on uh, everything's working there big radiator clean just a nice car uh, I had the uh, I drove it about 40 miles and just loved every bit of it All right, we can shut her down show you the trunk well, the trunk is just uh, it's immense and worth being seen you just turn this guy to the side you key in there and you can also hit the, the button in the trunk that's in the glove compartment work uh, in here is a I don't know what that is but just a big big trunk all the stuff where it's supposed to be there's the that great brown here is the uh, the trim tag with all the options or the whatever not trim yeah I guess it's a trim tag a uh, guy had given me a the, the original small spare is there he gave me another full-size spare with uh, the Cadillac wire cover it's got this thing in the back here with this little I mean, make a comment if anybody's looking at this they can tell me what this thing is back here I'd really like to know because I haven't been able to figure it out 
He gave me a Chilton's book in case I got to do any repairs, but as of now, it doesn't seem like she needs anything. But look at the size of this trunk. I mean, it's got some stuff in it, but look, that's a full-size tire on the rim, and you still have all this room. Uh, he threw in extra belts. Uh, you know, this guy really loved this car, and then when you go to close the trunk, all you do is get her close, and you see it, it pulls itself down, and that's working as it should. Rear bumper also does not have any pitting. Some light scuffs, but not pitted. This car was not kept outside. You see that she does need a bumper filler here. It's oddly enough, as it needs a bumper filler here, but this one looks brand new. So maybe this one had been replaced, or maybe that's just how it how it is. Um, and she could use a bumper filler here or not just drive it around and enjoy it cadillac on the mirrors got the little shades on the windows there of course the cadillac crest with the de l'elegance or de elegance i should say opening up this guy once again i mean the carpet is in beautiful condition the seat is gorgeous cadillac on the seat there i mean they just love putting their their emblem everywhere it is they got one here <laughs> but then look at this door panel this is beautiful i mean i don't know how many people actually sat there cadillac insignias on the belts or emblems or whatever back package tray is just gorgeous good uh 